Hello friends. The Tibetan Gao Dog, also known as the Dukai or Tibetan Mastiff, and the Wolf are two animals with different personalities and biological structures. They do not always confront each other in the wild, but if they clash, the outcome of the fight depends on many factors. Tibetan Gao Dog Comma The Tibetan Gao Dog is a dog breed originally from the Tibetan Plateau. They have large shapes, strong muscles and tools to protect and keep the farmer's herds of livestock. Comma The personality of the Tibetan Gao Dog is often steadfast, loyal and highly protective. They are often very brave and courageous in protecting their territory and family. Comma With its large size and outstanding strength, the Tibetan Gao Dog can become a formidable opponent in the confrontation with wolves. Wolf Comma Wolves are predators of the Kennedy family that can exist in many different environments around the world. They have good hunting ability and often live in groups to cooperate in hunting. Comma Depending on the specific wolf species and its habitat, the wolf's size and strength can vary. The gray wolf, for example, is one of the largest wolf species with hunting capabilities and plays an important role in the ecological balance of natural systems. The confrontation between the Tibetan Gao dog and the wolf will depend on many factors such as the specific size and strength of each individual, the encounter situation, the environment, and possibly the health and mental condition of the animal each child. There is no clear answer as to whether the Tibetan Gao dog or the wolf is stronger in all situations. The confrontation between the Tibetan Gao dog and the wolf cannot be determined with certainty which is stronger. Both species have their own advantages and abilities, and the outcome of the battle will depend on many variables. The Tibetan Gao dog has the advantage of large size, strong muscles and brave, protective personality. They can become good protectors of their family and property, especially when faced with dangerous factors. However, Tibetan Gao dogs can also be outnumbered or outnumbered by wolves, especially if encountering large and experienced wolf packs or wolves. Wolves, with their good hunting abilities and ability to cooperate within packs, can take advantage of group interactions to attack or deal with larger opponents. Wolves usually choose weaker prey to attack, but if confronted with humans or Tibetan Gao dogs, they can apply collective attack tactics to gain an advantage. In natural situations, direct confrontation between Tibetan Gao dogs and wolves is not common. Both species often stay away from each other or seek to avoid conflict, because fighting can carry serious risks and injuries for both parties. Therefore, it cannot be clearly stated that the Tibetan Gao dog or the wolf is stronger in all situations. It's important to look at each species' natural abilities and personality, as well as consider the variables in the specific environment in which the encounter takes place. Of course, we can consider some other aspects related to the comparison between Tibetan Gao dogs and wolves. 1. Hunting Skills Wolves are natural predators with the ability to hunt and chase prey very well. They are often intelligent hunters, using group cooperation to defeat their prey. Meanwhile, the Tibetan Gao dog is not always capable of hunting like a wolf, and is mainly bred to guard and protect property. 2. Jaw Structure Wolves have a strong jaw structure, with sharp canine teeth and the ability to bite strongly. Tibetan Gao dogs also have a strong jaw structure, but their main purpose is usually not to hunt with a strong bite. 3. Team Spirit Wolves often live in packs and have the ability to cooperate well. Coordination within the pack enables wolves to cope with greater challenges. Meanwhile, Tibetan Gao dogs also have a social personality, but they often act more independently and usually do not need great support from other individuals for protection. In conclusion, comparing Tibetan Gao dogs and wolves in terms of strength and weakness is not an easy task because they have different roles and missions in nature. Each species has unique advantages and abilities, and the outcome of their confrontation depends on many variables, including group coordination, habitat, and each animal's specific situation. Comma 4. Ability to adapt to the environment. Wolves are often adaptable to many different habitats, from jungles to deserts and even high mountains. This diversity allows wolves to adapt to environmental conditions and search for different food sources. Tibetan Gao dogs can also adapt to the harsh conditions of high-altitude plateaus, but are mainly companions and protectors for humans. 5. Personality and Confrontational Approach The Tibetan Gao dog's personality is usually very patient, loyal and family-friendly. Meanwhile, wolves often display agile personalities, love exploration and react flexibly in natural life. 
When faced with danger, opportunity, or challenge, the Tibetan Gao may display a protective personality, while wolves often take an offensive and cooperative approach within the pack. 6. Relationship with humans Tibetan Gao dogs have been raised by humans for thousands of years to protect property, herd livestock, and as companions. They often show deep loyalty to their owners and family. Meanwhile, wolves often have a more complex relationship with humans and can create anxiety due to their historical role as competitive predators. 7. Role in Culture and History Kama the Tibetan Gao dog has become an important symbol in the culture and history of the Tibetan people. They are often considered a symbol of loyalty, strength and protection. In Tibetan culture, Tibetan Gao dogs are often considered mutual friends and are valued as part of the family. Kama wolves also play an important role in many cultures and religions around the world. Wolves often appear in fairy tales, myths and legends with many different meanings, from symbolizing rivalry and competition to strength and wild freedom. 8. Biological Characteristics and Diversity Kama both the Tibetan Gao dog and the wolf belong to the Kennedy family, but they belong to different species and subfamilies. This leads to differences in genetics, chemical structure and appearance. Kama wolves come in many species and subspecies throughout the world, with variations in size, color and behavior. The Tibetan Gao, although there is some variation in shape and color, is often bred to serve as a guard and protector. 9. Conservation and State of Nature Kama wolves have faced many challenges in survival due to habitat loss, illegal hunting, and conflict with humans. Some wolf species are being conserved to maintain biodiversity. Kama the Tibetan Gao is also facing similar conservation problems, as its habitat is degraded and changed. However, the efforts of dog lovers and conservation organizations have helped maintain and protect the Tibetan Gao breed. Kama if the content is lacking, please give your comments. Kama if you like the video, don't forget to support the channel with a like, and subscribe to the channel and follow good videos, thank you for watching this video. Hello and see you again.